Welcome to another Rise of the Lich King video. You guys requested Scarlet Crusade, uh, that I show you how they are and how they will work when, of course, it comes out. So, you start off with two heroes. You start off with Baron Westwind, and I'm gonna go through the abilities, which is Divine Blessing, gives nearby units bonus damage and health regeneration. Blades of Light, Baron uh, Twill's throwing holy blades uh, of damaging uh, of, of, of light, sorry, damaging all nearby uh, enemies for, yeah, 100, uh, 150 and, and etc. Devotion Aura and Light's Vengeance, which is basically a, how should I say this, like a, like a, if you don't know Moon Sun, it's that. It does a lot of damage, AoE damage as a selected area and you channel it. That's basically how it works. So, you know, I'm just going to spec it to something here for fun now. The second hero is Ormar of Stromgard, which is not a finished hero yet, but for now I'm just going to spec into that, so because it's not uh, fully completed yet. Heroic Strike uh, strikes the enemy with brutal force, dealing huge intel damage uh, on the enemy target. Command Aura, which doesn't work properly just yet, it's still being a little bit worked on. And Sharpened Blade, which actually just adds um, extra attack when you... Uh, when you it's, like a, it's like Black Arrow ability. And the ultimate is going to be removed with something else, so nothing to worry about that. Now, as the Scarlet Crusade, or we start off at the location we know as Boron Tundra today, we decided to add them, add them in instead of the Blue Dragon Flight, it would be more better because it was confirmed Baron Westman led an expedition to Northwind at the time of the uh, Ash end of the Ashbringer comic, and at the end of the Ashbringer comic, it is. You know, when um, ugh, it is after uh, Kel'Thuzad, ha like he's in control of Eastern Plaguelands, he has attacked Lightsob Chapel, Darien has been converted to the Scourge, and etc. etc. So we thought they were the closest we could get to the Thrill Faction. Now, how they work, they will have much of normal human units, they will only have human units. Scarlet Footman with Crusader Rage causes the unit to attack 50% faster but take more damage. They will have defend as well. Archers uh, doesn't have anything special yet. We have Chaplains, which is normal priest. We have the Scarlet Inquisitors with Spirit Link, Purge and Holy Blessing, which is uh, uh, Bloodlust. Uh, these require upgrades but it's not been fixed properly yet. And there was Altar, that was wrong. Yeah, Inquisitor. You can make Inquisitors. And you have your demi elites, which is paladins, normal paladins. And don't mind, oh shit, like spike. Don't mind the head because uh, I know what it, it is, and I have to delete a model. You also have scarlet knights, which is your knights. So I could say they uh, are your heavy, uh, stronger units. They also have crusaders rage, which you know is a definite ability on all melee units for for scarlet. And they will as has uh, as uh, flying units as eagles, just because. We didn't want to add any dwarf units at all uh, to them because we just want. Of course, Scarlet is just humans, you know. Now, let me see. I'm just gonna take my hero squad and everything with me here. I'm just gonna get some stuff, uh, and I'm gonna show you around in. Um, oh God! <coughs> show you around in Boron Tundra a little bit and how the fighting will work here. I'm just. I just want to get everything up. And let's get this. I just want to get every hero group I can. Not hero group. There we go. Four. Oh, income. And there we go. So, yes, they start off nearby in Born Tundra. And there's a lot of uh, natural mobs here. There's a lot of control points that is ready to be taken. There's wolves. There's Nerubians. There is lots of stuff they can they can go and get like over here is where we known as Garrosh's base in Wrath of the Lich King and you know there's an entrance to Shulnu Rube so technically they could go down and mess up for the Rubians or all gods technically the, at the moment uh, the teleporter takes you right uh, nearby the Nerubian base which is not supposed to it's just a temporary spot because a Shulnu Rube is going to be made bigger in the future of course but temporarily it's there and it's gonna it's an entrance that will lead to a shoulder room and you know there's a brickle base there's brickle bases nearby there is other things and i see there's a control point gone so i have to figure out why now your shit, your hero squad is quite powerful you can use a uh, uh, healing wave which is quite strong you have Varen westman with the blessing of light you can 
buff up all your units to do more damage and have greater life regeneration. Your enemy is the Naga. The I'm gonna go up to them so you can see where they are and such. But the Naga is gonna be your main enemy. I'm just gonna activate that so that he does more damage. Your Naga, the Naga is the main enemy, as I said. They will have, they will, their army is stronger. Like their units are tougher, but. That has been added up by making Baron Westwind a complete beast. When you get him a bit higher, then that's where the creeps are for. They're going to help you uh, get that little advantage. Because Baron Westwind is really strong. He can buff up your army. You have Paladins with the healing. You have Divine Shield on them as well. And they have Pulverize, Hardened Skin, and Resistance Skin. Every damage has Resistance Skin just to avoid uh, ch Charm and all that kind of nonsense. You know what I mean. And you have... You have uh, you have inquisitors with bloodlust. You have priests. You have a lot of healing, but your army, like your units, is not as strong compared to you know what. Uh, oh god, like um, god damn it! I just suddenly forgot the name. The Nagas. That's what they are. Yes, that's what they are. So I'm just gonna go around creep a bit here for fun. I'm gonna take control points. I'm gonna go around. And I hope you like the terrain that is here in uh, Born Tundra. This was made by Emperor, which he did a excellent job on, if I might add. It looks just beautiful, I, I gotta say. So, if you want to know who Arm Umar of Stromgod is, I actually don't know. <laughs> he was reported to be like a general slash captain um, on the expedition. Uh, he was, of course, as the name probably su says already, he was, of course, a uh, captain of Stromgard before he joined the Crusade. So, you know, we've... Oh, shit, that was a Skype. I hate when that happens. Oh, my damage went down. A bug I found by myself here. And I also need to just go over here and check if this is the right version as well. <laughs> because I did a lot of new stuff and control points and everything. And this space will determine if that's the right version. Nope, it's not the right version. Because this space looks much better. But that doesn't uh, change much on... The, oh god, we can just fight them. That doesn't change anything at, um, on the, the Scarlet Crusade anyway. So, Baron Westman can become a quite powerful hero. Chill Points is going to determine a lot in... Or not a lot, but uh, it's going to determine quite a bit in fighting the Naga. Because their demis have Crushing Wave. Which is a carrion swarm, or whatever you would name it. Uh, it's a carrion swarm that, you know, it can. Oh shit. It can be quite annoying against your army. I mean, you're gonna have uh, bloodlust, you're gonna have the healing, but they can just keep spamming that. And even their hero has that, they, as a defil uh, default uh, hero ability. So, you know, it can be quite challenging, but if you win here, you are pretty much set, and you have weakened. Illidan's forces quite a bit. The events for the Scarlet Crusade, as for now, they can find remnants of Arthur's expedition that was here in Northrend, which will unlock a new hero, maybe a new hero type, not hero type, unit type. Uh, gold and extra lumber will be rewarded, of course, for finding the expedition. Uh, another one which we had in mind was. At some point, I don't know where I will let this event be triggered, but Baron Westwind can, like, say, explore a certain area, and Malganus will come and take over him, or mind control him, and you can have the option of going uh, undead then, or the Risen, if you know what I mean. Like, he murders everyone and goes the Risen. That, that is an option, of course. You will be, be you will, Your units will be replaced with undeads, you will get Malganus instead of a hero, and probably another one a hero as well. Or you can choose to, at some point, point longer on, to purify Baron Westwind, making him a stronger paladin. Right? Oh shit. We have some couples. So in lore, they are saying that Baron West... It's not confirmed that Baron Westwind was a paladin or warrior. And in my case, I decided to go with a paladin. Because, you know, the Scarlet Crusade, just... We know them as kind of uh, paladins and all that. So, you know, I decided to... Why not just let him be a paladin? You know what? Oh, and now he has... I need to fix a lot of spells in this, or let Arius do it. I'll decide what I want to do. So, the Naga space is all the way up, almost up in... Uh, all the way up in north in Boron Tantra. Uh, close to the entrance to Shulursar Bastion. And it's... Today in World of Warcraft, we know it as a Murloc base. You can do go and do some quests for some Murlocs there. But that's where the Naga will be. 
and here we are already coming, and they have Nagentus as a, one of the heroes, they have Vash, and of course their Naga Royal Guards is their them is. They don't have any extra Naga units at the moment, they're just normal Naga units, and for now, that's what they're gonna be, they're not gonna be anything special or units, because Illidan has Fel Orcs instead of Naga, because we wanted to make a variation in that team instead of two players having Naga. So, fighting the Naga can be tough. I'm not saying it's going to be easy for the player who fights them. It's going to be tough, it's not going to be as easy as people think, but, you know, we're trying to balance it out as much as possible, we w but we want to keep in mind that Naga should be a bit stronger because, uh, oh sh I hate those random Skype sounds, because that, because they have stronger heroes. I mean, Ormar is not the strongest one. Sorry about that, I heard someone, I thought someone was coming in the door, I was just going to skip. That. But anyway, I was saying, Ormar is not a most powerful hero, but he's an okay hero. It's better than Westwind and that Paladin squad you want. It is going to be quite strong. And all the enemies have hero and hero on attack and defense. Oh, look at that. I did not know about that. He, that Paladin has the power to walk on mountains. He is truly blessed by the light. So there you go. That's the Scarlet Crusade as they are now. I... No, I'm not sure if I'm going to add any more events for them, probably. One event I had in mind if, is that they, when, oh shit, I came near my microphone. Is that when they go to Frostborn Cavern, they can choose, the boss will uh, appear and they can fight it and claim Light's Vengeance, which is Arthas' old hammer before he got Frostborn. And funny thing is that Admiral, oh shit, Admiral Westwind's ultimate is called Light's Vengeance. There we go. Oh, just like, where is it? And we're actually almost level 6, so why not just take the hero squad and kill some water elementals. We can just start upgrading a bit more. Let me see, where's the blacksmith? There we go, let's get that armor up. So we uh, we can do this pretty easy. Just blades of light, deal damage for everything. And yeah, we'll just, just bless it. Let's just do a blessing as well, so the paladins can do more damage and just be more strong. Like OP, because that's where we want them to, right? Uh, how much did we miss? Uh, we miss a little bit more, and I need to concern my man as well if I wanna <laughs> uh, be able to do it. So of course there's still some pathing mistakes everywhere on the map, which is being taken care of. Let me see. Come here. Oh, <sighs> come stupid mud golems. I'm really close as well. I just wanna, I just wanna get up to level six to show people light's vengeance. It's good. It's strong. I need just need to think of an area where I can do it. Actually, I can go over there to the old temple city. Let me see. So, the squad is quite handy with the healing wave. They're just going to be keep themselves alive good. And they can use Divine Shield. Now, Baron Westman cannot do that because... Just imagine that the hero squad as well with, uh, oh, with the Divine Shield. No, with Baron Westman with Divine Shield. Oh. So, while we're here, on our way here, uh, I want to know what, you, what uh, do you guys think that I should show next? Which race do you want me to show? Scourge, uh, we have already done trolls, uh, brickles, you know, you name it, you name it. Yeah, I'm gonna ding, I'm gonna ding in this battle, and they are just squashing them. Now, I think people, some people have seen that the, some of the drops, f wait, are the drops correct now on gold? If it's, I think it might have been fixed on some units, it's not every unit that have been fixed, but some of them. Let me see. Yeah, it's been more fixed now, because I remember br back in the day, uh, early in the project, the we forgot to change the drop on gold, which was ridiculously high. How far are you? Ah, oh, Baron Westwind. You disappoint me. Level faster. Okay, there we go. Uh, there should be some over here. Yep. Let's just... Can we get us better around? No, we cannot. But let's just heal ourselves up to become even more annoying. So Pulverize is, you know, going to be great for the Paladins. 20% uh, chance to deal more 60, uh, 60%. 60%? What am I saying? I'm tired today. I'm sorry. I'm... Oh, shit. I'm really sorry. Don't let him die. Let's... It's annoying. This small spot uh, only... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We don't want to... We're not going to let him die. Okay, there we go. And I can heal him up. Ah, and there the event happened with... Uh, oh, shit. That the uh, the other way into a Shulner Rube has opened. Which means, technically, everybody can go and mess up for... Old Gods or Nerubians. And since... 
yellow didn't take a choice to go frostborn, he has remained uh, just normal yellow by being in the, the expedition in Shulnurup, the Bailgun expedition. Let me see. There's no more units. I'm disappointed in myself. And Ben Westwind did not think. Ah, uh, well, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna give up. Hold on a second. I'm just gonna create level six. All right, we got Light's Vengeance now. Let me see. Boop. And we're gonna test it out on Arthur's, I believe, because they are just standing around over here. So let me see. I'm actually gonna turn on the. Uh, let me see. Where is it? Where? It? It's. I'm looking for. Uh, I cannot find it. Oh, we shall help out. There we go. I'm gonna sh uh, do it on the help bar to show you. So, where is Baron? Okay, he's there. So, okay, and let's select this area and use your power. Oh, you're not close enough. There we go. No. There we go. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna watch this damage. Oh shit. I should probably get some of the heal, but you see the damage, it's good. It is good against, let's say, on a bridge right here or something, or just any scenario like that when you're just uh, standing. It's gonna deal a lot of damage. So that's the Scarlet Crusade so far, I hope you enjoyed them. Please tell me what you want, what you want next time. Until next time, guys, bye-bye.